This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time, due to uh, quite a few people saying that they wanted me to play this deck, uh, I'm going to be playing with that Shadal Predator Plant deck that had the had the Whiptails in it as the only zoo things in it. I've not done any changes to the list in terms of uh, what I showed you is literally what I'm playing, even though there were some decent suggestions all over the place uh, for how to handle things further, but... Okay, so what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with something with Wind Witches in it, which is fine, uh, which is great. The problem is that I'm going to be dealing with a Crystal Wing, potentially. Uh, he's done this in the wrong order, so I feel like I'm going to punish him for it, and I will. Uh, but even if he does have another level 4 to be able to utilize and like still make his, uh, his Crystal Wing somehow or some extra deck monster, I'm going to be able to use Lone Fire, go into my Predator Plant, discard my squamata and do all that sort of stuff uh, so he's he's literally just playing wind witch invoked which is perfectly fine if he summons a raijin who great um, he's probably going to misplay heavily with how he handles his situation at least that's what I'm banking on I'm banking on him misplaying pretty heavily in terms of uh, in terms of what happens here but he does have access into raijin which is good for him now the thing is, is that if he decides uh, well no actually uh, his Magical Meltdown actually is probably going to be benefiting me, won't it? Uh, let's see, I need to remember what this card does. Uh, the activation of your cards and effects include effective fusion summon, fusion monster combat negated. Okay. Uh, when a fusion monster is fusion summoned. Okay, so never mind. I was thinking that if I activated Stall Fusion, he wouldn't be able to chain this. Well, this is a bit late. Um, that's a bit agitating. To a certain degree. Uh, but I can keep that. I can go ahead and do this and... I'll be able to make the allure live after the fact, um, or it'll be live if he just books the Lone Fire. So we'll see what he does. If he just wants to go ahead and book the Lone Fire, that's the correct play. Okay, so he is booking the Lone Fire. Good. Um, booking the Lone Fire is the correct play. Now he just has to hope I don't draw into like Shadal Fusion here, uh, because if I draw into Shadal Fusion, I'm gonna blow him out. Um, but or even like just an, a way to get this Lone Fire off the field and soul charge back another one there's pfft, well there we go <laughs> time to time to get got um i've got max c so i don't think and i've got soul charge so i don't think i'm going to be going for window here i believe i'm going to go for well i could go for the grista i could fuse with a lone fire out of my deck and then soul charge it back and then go into my zoo stuff that'd be pretty fucking sweet um but at the same time i do want to kill this uh, but I know for a fact that he has a, um, he has a, uh, whatchamadoodad in his hand. A, uh, fuck, I can't think of the name. <laughs> um, the Alistair, that one. Uh, but I'm gonna send those, uh, Lone Fire and Hedgehog, and I'm gonna use the Hedgehog's effect, I'm going to add a Shadal Beast. And now I can Soul Charge this stuff back, so I've literally just opened really, really well. Um... Because this should all beast will be able to do something if like the Grista happens, but I don't think Grista is going to happen. Um, although he is playing Wind Witches, so it could very well be something that goes down and goes through. But so I'm gonna Soul Charge for this, and I could skip deck the Hedgehog as well, um, just to be fodder. Or I could get the Ghost Ogre. The Ghost Ogre is actually a form of defense because I can tribute it from the field. That's right. So I'm gonna summon the Ghost Ogre in defense mode. And, uh, and then I'll be able to summon the Lone Fire. Uh, Lone Fire actually should be able to tribute this one off, possibly, perhaps? I actually don't know why I got this beast. Um, now nah, I'm thinking back. Well, it's actually the one that's got the most, uh, most number in my deck, so I mean, I guess that works. Uh, but so we'll summon this, and I will use this, and I'll use it to, I can discard the beast, and I can get access to El Shadal Fusion. Um, that'd be pretty alright, but like the beast, I, I think I'm playing this turn out wrong. I think I've lost scope of what I was trying to do. But this from here can summon this, which can summon uh, Chimera Rafflesia, actually. Which actually is a little bit better for me, especially since next turn I can just do this into the, uh, into the Darling Cobra anyway. So this seems fine. This seems fine of something I can do. 
I'm not doing any uh, zoo play. I should have, I should have left the the lone fire face up. Yeah, I've just been messing this up all over the place. But I can make this. Um, <laughs> I've got Strike and Maxi backing it up, so I don't feel like I'm actually in any form of danger um, or problems. Uh, but so I can use this to banish his Raijin, uh, and then I get to oh Ghost Ogre on this. Uh, interesting choice. But that's fine, because that means that next turn I will be able to do some things. You've still lost your monster. Um, next turn, this thing, during the next standby phase after this card was sent to the graveyard, I get to add another Shadal Fusion. Uh, so I don't have to worry about this Grista dying. I don't really care about El Shadal Fusion per se. I just want to guarantee the Shadal Fusion is in my hand. So that I can just keep pressuring him. I've got Maxi, I've got Psalm Strike. I think I played that entire turn out wrong, but like the inherent power level of my deck is just so much better. Uh, than what he has access to. But so I'm going to Solemn Strike this. Uh, the Ghost Ogre can be usable in a later in a later situation. I want to incentivize him to like Synchro Summon because if he does... Oh really? Okay, so absolutely. We're just going to take this win. We're going to take it really quickly. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing more videos and I'm going to be doing more dual videos up during this day. So this is going to be a short video, but still, it's going to be whatever. I'm not doing multiple games per videos because it's just... it. it it gets too hectic and it gets too like not specific in terms of what's going on. But yeah, I think I played my entire turn out wrong. I should have used Lone Fire to tribute this face down Lone Fire because I could because you tribute as cost. Um, well, no, actually no. It says tribute one face up plant type monster. Did it give me the prompt over this? Then I just didn't. I didn't mess up there. Um, I, I assume Lone Fire was just tribute a plant monster, and if that's the case, then you're able to just tribute face downs. But I don't can't remember if it gave me the little swirly thing around this or not. I will definitely be check, uh, checking that out in editing. Uh, but if that's the case, then I should have left the face up Lone Fire, and then I could have made a rank three with like Ghost Ogre and the uh, and it, and then I could have made another Zoo play stuff like that. But regardless, the inherent power level of my deck is just better than his because Shadal Fusion is better than Invocation. Um, and like he played poorly, he played poorly to the aspect of he chained his orders wrong. He should have made Ice Bell Chain Link 2, but even then I could have actually still just Ghost Ogred it and prevented him from summoning something from the extra deck anyway, so I guess there was no real way around that. There's a, there's a few different things that were uh, problems here for my opponent, but the biggest thing is that his deck is just inferior in terms of actual like power plays to my own because like it's just like <laughs> Shadal Fusion is so much better of a card than everything in the Invoked Engine is but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense links as always are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly then Patreon is the best way to do so there's some reward tiers you can check out if you want to get access to my private discord server to chat with me and a bunch of others on a day-to-day -day basis then definitely go check that out if you want to but if you just want to support the channel in an amazing way even something as little as a dollar a month great helps my ability to make content and shows your support of me as a content creator and shows me that you like what I do but other than that if you like this video smash that like button give this video a thumbs up to show me that you want me to keep doing content of this variety and of this type and sort of nonsense like that if you're new here consider subscribing if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content I'd love to welcome you to this dysfunctional little family we've got built around this channel with me at the helm I didn't think this sort of thing was possible in terms of a community to grow and a thing to do but I mean I'm pleasantly surprised to be wrong after all of these years but if you're new here consider subscribing if you want to see more like i've already said and i'd be glad to have you on board but other than that as i've already said thanks for watching as always guys thanks for your time and take care i will see you in the next video